I love it. It is Friday, which means it is time to get our entertainment scoop. And we start with a new rivalry brewing between on the right there, Tom Brady, the GOAT. On the left, Bradley Cooper. So Brady has been dating since his divorce, of course, from supermodel Giselle. But he was recently spotted multiple times with the woman in the middle, Irina Shayk, who happens to be the ex of actor Bradley Cooper. Let's bring in senior story editor Paula Froelich. Yep. All right, so Shayk and Cooper, Bradley Cooper, were seen on vacation together they were. in Italy this past week. Uh, she also happens to be his baby mama, which I just, mm -hmm. I was like, wait a minute, Bradley. It, so is this some crazy love triangle? What is going on? I mean, but, I mean, we can all date who we want to date. Okay. We're not judging. Just so we're clear, I hope it is a crazy love triangle. <laughs> I love those. <laughs> I love a little baby mama drama. So she's on a yacht with Bradley, but mm -hmm. also on a couple dates with uh, Tommy. Listen, you got the one who might happen and the one who's just mm -hmm. there already. Why not keep your options open? <laughs> Listen. Tom gets a divorce from Giselle. Yes. He meets Irina at this party in the Hamptons, and he's like, hey, she's gorgeous. She is. She's she a model. Is. You know, gorgeous. case around. And so they go on a couple dates in L.A., whatnot. Of course, the paparazzi mysteriously show up and start clicking them all. Right. And then the next thing you know, she's off with Bradley Cooper in Italy. But here's the real goss. Okay, what is that? Before she got together with Tom, her and Bradley were starting to talk it back out. All right, and they have a child together, which they also do. They further have a complicates six -year -old, this. They have a six-year-old daughter. Okay. So I think she's playing both side of the, sides of the uh, fence. Like she was about to get back together with with right. uh, Bradley, and then all of a sudden Tom's there, and she's like, "Oh." Well, well, listen, everybody is beautiful in all of this. I mean, not that that really, you know, we don't know personalities here, but I got to say, every, you know, everybody's gorgeous here. What are we talking about? I all know. right. You know what? One can only hope for, like, <laughs> so, you know, just some sort of weirdness yeah. to happen so we can well, all just eat our weirdness, popcorn. Paula. That's why we got to bring you in to, to learn about this stuff. All right. So there's another breakup in the headlines. This yeah. time uh, we're talking about Kevin Costner, the actor, his estranged wife, Christine. This uh, has been pretty much ugly from the beginning of this breakup, but it is only getting uglier. Uh, only getting more dramatic here. So they're, they're battling things out in court. Mm -hmm. This is over child support. So she's been offered, I believe, $60,000 a month. Hey, that's a lot of money. However, we're talking about a man who, you know, brings in a ton of money. She wants $160,000 a month mm -hmm. in child support. Which is actually less than she originally wanted. How many I children are we talking about here? 50, 100? <laughs> we're talking three. Oh, now, okay. let's go back to the beginning, okay? They've been married for 18 years. May 1st, she was like, you know what? Yeah. I'm done. Irre irreconcilable differences. A lot of insiders are saying it's because he's a workaholic. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Yellowstone was filmed in Texas, not nowhere near right. Santa Barbara, where they live. Mm -hmm. And so she was just kind of like, meh, I'm done. I'll see you later. Now, he's gotten madder and madder because they had a prenup. However, again, the prenup was 18, right, was like years, 18 ago, years ago, and it was only for yeah. $1.2 million, which, Ooh. I mean, I think she has that at lunchtime. Well, absolutely. And the kids are now 16, 14, and 13, two boys, one girl, she, and they live on this compound, oceanfront, Santa, Ma, Santa Barbara, sorry about that, and it's worth like $50 million. It's got Ooh. like three or four houses on it. Right. It's gorgeous. He's like, all right, get out. And she's like, but where am I going to go with these kids? Yeah, this has been an ugly one. Oh, it's gotten crazier because in divorce filings, she was saying, I need $200,000 a month to maintain the lifestyle that we've all become used to. Mm -hmm. And he shoots back. He goes, she's padding that figure with her plastic surgery, which, ow, okay. First of all, hey, she Kevin. looks great for supposedly yeah. having hundreds of thousands of she dollars. She looks fabulous. They both do. I mean, who's her doctor? I'll sign up. But heck, <laughs> no. So then they go into court for this child custody case. Wait West a minute, Paula. This happens every day. I, okay. Listen, it's okay, an go. divorce. Bring we it, bring it. we a third topic. Mm. We're talking the royals again, which sometimes I kind of roll my oh, eyes. Boy. Like, here we talk. But this one Love actually it. even got my attention here. Uh, some royal tea being spilled. Never before heard audio recordings of Princess Diana, everyone's favorite. Uh, she says Charles was disappointed when Harry mm -hmm. was born. Turns out Charles yes. wanted a girl, Paula. Ouch, do we need to know? I mean, poor Harry in this. Even if you don't I like mean, Harry, who wants to hear? 
I do feel bad for Harry, yeah. but let's be honest. Diana's the one who put it out there. These recordings are from when she did her tell-all book, and she made the recordings and then shipped them out to the author, mm -hmm. and she knew exactly what she was putting on tape, and she was trying to portray Charles quite badly. And the fight apparently was her stepmother, Rain Spencer, was talking to Charles, and he goes, oh, we're so disappointed. We wanted a girl. And Rain apparently shot back, you're lucky to have a child. So he never spoke to Rain again. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.